Hey guys, it's Courtney from Mentor 5 here. Today I'm going to be walking you through our new Mentor 5 app, as well as all of the cool new features that we have updated with so that you can have a go. Cool, so we get started. So first things first, we're gonna be updating our firmware. So what we need to do is select our update firmware button and then we need to make sure that our battery is on. So we're gonna turn that on. Perfect. So she's all on and ready to go. So first things first, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be searching for our battery. So we're gonna go search and then the battery is gonna come up. So what we'll do is we will check it for updates. So it's busy loading, it's having a look. Um, just to make sure that we're all up to date. Cool, so what we can see here is that our firmware is all up to date. Um, what it'll come up with is that your update now area will be gray, which means it's already been processed, so you don't have to worry about it. If it does come up with the fact that you need to update it, all you need to do is press update now and follow the prompts. Now, I just wanna to touch base on as to why this is important. So it's really important to update your firmware um, in terms of battery functionality, and it also helps to clean out any sort of battery bugs that there might be. So it's a good one to do, and always double check that you're up to date on that one. Cool, so what we're gonna do now is we'll head back to our home screen, and we're gonna move through to our bike status. So we're gonna select bike status, and then once again, we have to search for our battery. Perfect, so we're connecting to our battery and it comes up with our bike status display screen. So what we've got here is we've got um, a different a couple of widgets. So we've got our level of assist, we have our battery power, we've got our motor temperature, battery temperature, motor connection and comms connection. So all of these are great for you to be able to see, um, you know, what your motor temperature is, what your battery power is, and it's just a really good way for you to gain information around your bike status. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go through into our bike health check. So we're going to select bike health check, um, and it says, please have your battery removed from your bike. So that's a really important uh, tool there. So please make sure that you do have your battery removed from your bike. And we're going to select start. All right, so now we're on the LED check uh, screen. So this is where we can start our LED check. Now this is a really important feature for you to double check before going foiling. What it does is it just makes sure that your LEDs are synced correctly. So for instance, green for really high, you know, high power in your battery and red for when your battery is of low power. So that's really important to note um, and a really good reason why we have this check. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press start LED check. Now please do note that what happens is that your phone and your LED light will flash at the same time. So it is easier to have them laying side by side so that you can have a look at both of them and you're not trying to look back and forth between your screen and the LED because you might miss it. Cool, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started. So you press start LED check and then you'll notice that it flashes through the four colors. Cool, so once it's done that, it's really quick, so I do understand um, if it's a little bit overwhelming the first time. What you can do is there is a retry button, so you can just flash through that one again and just triple check that everything is working well. If you're happy with it though, and all of your colors matched, all you have to do is just press yes. Now, next thing that we move on to is our buzzer check. Now, the buzzer check is also a really important feature. What it is, is that this sonification of the buzzer means that it's a audio um, warning. So for instance, if there's anything wrong with the buzzer, it will uh, beep while you're out foiling because you might not necessarily be looking down and see the red LED. Another awesome thing is that when you first turn on your battery and you would have noticed this, it'll beep um, four times. So it'll be one initial beep and then four thereafter, which is the 25% increments of your battery. So that when you first turn it on, you know exactly what stage your battery is at. And then it's also uh, reflected within the LED color. So what we'll do is we'll start our buzzer check. So we play, press start buzzer check. Perfect. So if you hear it and it's all good, then you just press yes. If you didn't, um, just pre press retry again and then you can go from there. Cool, but we're all happy, so we're gonna go through and say yes. Awesome, so the next one is a uh, specifically cool feature. 
So this is our tilt center check. So what this is, is that when your bike is flipped on its side, whether you be out foiling um, and you happen to fall off, what happens is that your, your battery will then cut power to the motor um, because it's on its side. Now, I know that some of you might be thinking, well, what happens if that, if you know, I fall off and I need to complete a submerged launch? So what we do is, um, the battery has this incredible power that once it's on its side and it flips back up, upright, so once you've remounted the bike and you're ready to submerge launch, uh, your battery will actually kick back in and therefore the motor will be able to assist you out of the water. So we're gonna lay this guy flat. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate it in a 90 degree angle and you're gonna flip it back up. And what you'll see is that on your screen it then comes up with a tick, meaning that your tilt sensor is all good and running well so that you're happy to go out foiling. All right, so we then go back to our home screen and we can move on to the rider dashboard. Awesome, so what we'll do is I'll pop this guy back up. All right, so we're gonna move through to our rider dashboard now. Once again, we do have to um, search for our battery. Awesome, so we just connect to our battery. Perfect, and it all comes up now. This is a great feature that we have just uploaded to the app. Um, what this does is it allows what our Garmin uh, watches used to do, which is show you all of your bike stats, whether it be your speed, uh, your distance, your level of assist, all on here is now fully accessible on your phone. So what this means is that you don't need to go out and purchase uh, another piece of equipment um, just so that you can figure out how your rides are going. Awesome, so what we've got on here is we have got your speed, we've got your distance traveled, we've got your level of assist, and we've got your battery charge as well. So what I would definitely um, encourage you to do is pop your phone into a well-sealed waterproof case, take it out riding with you, and therefore you have full access to um, how your ride is going, how fast you're going, as well as how your battery is running if you're going out for a long ride. So yeah, uh, awesome. So that will be it. So this is our new app and this is all of our really awesome features. We've got our update firmware, our bike status, and most importantly, our rider dashboard. So I do hope that you have enjoyed it and this has been really good for you guys. I think it's some really good features and hopefully this will improve your riding experience on your hydrofoiler. Cool, thanks.